In the last Linux video, we talked about how to create a file. In this video, we're going to talk about how to copy files, move files, and rename files. So let's go ahead and list out the contents of our directory. And let's go ahead and switch to our test directory. And let's do another list. And there you can see the note1.txt we created in the last video. Now to copy a file, you use the cp command, just like that. And then you type the name of the file that you want to copy. In this case, it is note1.txt. And then you just simply name the new file that you want to copy to. And in this case, we're just going to call it note2.txt. And let's go ahead and hit enter. And then let's list out our directory again. And there you can see we've got our note2.txt, which is an exact duplicate of note1.txt. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and create some directories. And we're going to create three directories. Now in previous videos, we learned how to do that. We used the make dir command. But we did not create multiple directories on the fly. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're actually going to create three directories on the fly. And we're going to call them dir1, dir2, and dir3. And let's go ahead and make sure they were in fact created. And as you can see, they were. Now what we're going to do is actually copy a file to a directory. So what we're going to do is copy our note1.txt to our dir1 directory. And we use the cp command yet again to do that. So we just type in cp, then we type in note1.txt, and then we specify the directory where we want to copy it to. In this case, it is dir1. And let's go ahead and hit enter. And now let's go ahead and actually switch to our directory one and list it out and make sure our note1.txt is there and it is in fact there. So that is how you copy a file to a directory. Now let's actually move back to our test directory. Now you'll remember to do that we just type in dot dot and then a forward slash and that should take us back one directory to the test directory. We talked about that in the last video and it in fact did. And let's go ahead and do another list. And there you can see we've got our note1.txt and our note2.txt. Now, of course, we just copied one file to the dir1 directory, but you can also copy multiple files. So again, we use the cp command, and let's copy both our note1 and our note2.txt to our dir2 directory. So you just specify both of those files, and then we're going to type our dir2. And then let's go ahead and switch to our dir2 to make sure they made it. And if we do a list, and there you can see they're both there. Now let's go ahead and use the clear command. Remember that will just clear everything that we've just typed out so we can get back to the top of the screen. And there we go. Okay, so we talked about how to copy a file. We talked about how to copy a file to a directory. And we talked about how to copy multiple files to a directory. Now you can also copy directories themselves. So let's go ahead and actually switch back to our test directory. And let's list it out again. So we use the cp command again, but this time we're actually going to pass an argument, which is minus r. And then you just specify the directory that you want to copy from, which in this case is dir2. And then we copy the destination directory, which in this case is dir3. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And then let's go ahead and switch to our dir3 and make sure this worked. Let's list it out. And there you can see we have the dir2 directory. So that will copy an entire directory. And as you can see, it worked. Now let's go ahead and actually switch back to our test again and let's list this out. Now what if you want to rename a file? Well for that you use the mv command. So what we're going to do is actually rename our note1.txt to note3.txt and it's pretty simple as you'll see here. So we just type in note1.txt and then we just type in the new name that we want. In this case note3. Let's go ahead and hit enter. And let's list it out again and you can see it worked. So that is how you rename a file. Now you can also move a file to a directory. So what we're going to do is move note3.txt to our dir2 directory. And so we use the mv command again and we'll just specify note3.txt and then we'll specify dir2. And let's go ahead and list out our current contents to make sure note3 is no longer there and it's not. And then let's go ahead and switch to dir2 and we'll list it out again. And you can see the note3.txt is there. Now, how to remove a file? Well, you use the rm command. So let's type in rm and let's go ahead and remove the note1.txt. Let's hit enter. Let's list it out. And you can see it is in fact gone. Okay, we will continue on in the next lecture.